Welcome back. Today we are going to take a quick look at the Apos Audio Caspian Open Back Headphones. So Apos Audio, audio store on the internet. They are actually located in California. They also happen to do some branded products. And Caspian, I think, is their first headphones. And maybe it's their only headphones. But yeah, as an IEM guy, it's uh, kind of a treat to actually hold a very nice, nicely built, very nice materials headphones. I'm so used to small tiny resin things maybe metal shells on a good day but to hold a really nice set of headphones is actually a treat for me and the cable it's kind of a monster cable it's very thick very very kind of a luxurious it's very very nice if you're used to stock cables on iams this is like a whole different animal um, very beefy very nice connections mini xlr i guess that's what that is called but even locking mechanisms i mean yeah, you don't find these things on IEM, so this was a kind of an absolute treat for me to hold these things that I can only see in pictures, and uh, yeah, very cool. So let's kind of start with kind of their words, and I'll say on their website, if you go look up this set, it kind of right at the beginning it says, and I will say, always pay attention to the marketing on even IEMs, I think it, it actually works out uh, sometimes. Sometimes it's very spot on, and I think Caspian is one of those. And they say, we designed the Caspian to make you smile, not to be used as a microscope for analyzing every last detail. So I, I think you have to take that at face value. I would take it literally, and it's a very fun, thick sound. And I think that was the intention, and if you try to morph it or review it or assume it's something other than what they are saying it is then you're probably not going to be as happy but if you take it literally and kind of at the face value they tell you what it is i think you're you get along well and we'll take a quick look at the graph and this is the only graph i have and you can't read any of the numbers but you kind of get a feel for it they essentially took an open back headphone and base head tilted it so i think this is about 48 hertz and they say it's about 5 db up there drops down this is i think between two and seven ish they they put some strategic dips in there to make it less fatiguing so for me i look at it and, and they kind of they had some more fancier words but i would say it's just simply bass head tilted they put the sub bass up quite high for a 50 millimeter dynamic driver it's kind of high and then tilted the treble down so it's not fatiguing but you get a lot of bass and a lot less treble treble and that would be a bass head tilt in my words they have fancier version of fun and you know non-fatiguing but that's kind of what it is so and like iems that do the same bassy tilted signature not really a low volume set you got to turn it up uh, quite a bit to get the mids to come forward otherwise it's really harder to hear the upper range on this guy so who should buy it Obviously, it's a little bass head tilted, and I would say you have to be closer to someone who likes a blonde BL03 style, kind of that bassy, very warm, thicker, full vocals, the opposite of a lean-down analytical set as such, um, and the center of gravity is just low, right? It's got a big bump at like 48 hertz, which is actually quite low, and that drags everything down, and you know, the sound is really is located down there. Lots of fun without the fatigue. Who really shouldn't buy it? You know, if you're really into mid-centric, the more you look for other models. I think the Caspian is very much like a V-shaped IEM. Some people will zone it right in on the recessed mids and compare it to the bass, right? The, the mids are going to be quite below the bass. It's a lot of bass. The mids are going to be below that. The lack of clarity and transparency uh, from a relaxed treble, I think all those things, if you are mid-centric, you're going to immediately notice, and this one's probably not for you. So bass, yes, this one is a fun level of bass and the fun to hear in an open back headphone, right? I don't know how many open back headphones are actually bass head tilted like this, but it's actually kind of fun to hear because it's such a huge driver and, so, and I'm so used to IEMs. So despite the large driver, it does behave very similar to IEM bass shelf with lots of mid and lots of sub bass. It kind of sounds very similar to an IEM just in a more impactful way. The bigger bass, less treble style works here as it does on IEMs. Just lots and lots of bass, not much fatigue. And the mids, and, and I think the mids is sort of what I was alluding to and, and, and kind of where you hear where the complaints would be, right? You're paying $500 for a set. You want to hear the mids. You want to hear the treble. Um, you're paying quite a bit of money, and you want to hear all of it. That's kind of one thing that I say quite a bit on hybrids. I paid for five BAs, or I paid for eight, eight, eight BAs. I actually want to hear all eight. So 
Yeah, I will I kind of understand the nitpicks on on the price point and with the signature, how the signature is reflected in the price point. And it really does sound like an IEM where the mids fall back behind the bass. And you can't quite raise the volume enough to where they sound transparent, always a bit hazy behind the bass. So if you do want to clean up the mids, just arc down the bass from about 300 hertz down in the opposite slope, you know, about, mi about minus 5 dB in EQ. And that removes the sound in the tunnel, that, that heavy mid bass thickness that kind of overtakes the mids. Just arc the bass, arc the bass shelf down. And you kind of get rid of all of that. Tightens up the bass response, and it becomes a little bit more rebalanced. And I think, like any other set, turning down the bass under the mids and the details become more revealed. So essentially, take take the opposite of of this curve, right? And just basically arc it down. And you can they they point out forty eight hertz. You can drop forty eight. I mean, minus five is probably a little more neutral than what they intended here but you have to get this down a little bit if you want to open up the mids and have more of an open back headphone feel to it treble is kind of the same way not as easy to eq the treble but turning down the bass down will actually reveal more in the treble even without touching the treble i think the intention was to keep it non-fatiguing and to keep that level neutral at best there are these dips between 2 and 7K, and you could bump up less than the dip and readjust the base level for balance. Right, so they put these intentional dips between 2 and 7. Like, I wouldn't push these all the way up. That's going to be a little bit too much treble, especially if you arc this down. But if you actually bring these up just a little bit, you could put a little more bass, and you could actually find the balance between this heavier bass, this thicker sound, and giving you slightly more treble to hear that. And the two, you can actually rebalance it on your own, and it's actually a very, very nice sound. And again, I will say, sorry, Apos, for rebalancing your tuning, but it's a 50 millimeter Kennerton driver, and I actually wanted to hear what it can do. So, yeah, I, I kind of rebalanced it in EQ just to hear uh, what this thing could do. And it's actually very, very nice, and I haven't heard any other open back uh, headphones. So yeah, I was more curious in hearing what this whole thing sounds like all opened up and extended, and uh, it's very cool. And I kind of thank them for the opportunity to do that and apologize for um, taking some of the fun out of it. But the stage, it's actually more affected by the bass than the treble, because when there's so much bass in the stage, it actually fills. So this is an open back, but you end up with a stage that feels a little closed in. Um, kind of full of bass and there's just no black background and it feels very closed in so you push the bass below the mids and then you end up with a stage that actually opens up in a black background you actually hear players on the stage and it actually opens up into an open back style that sounds very cool so yeah so i kind of apologize but yeah it's actually very cool to hear um, this with a stage and what the driver can do so Again, thank you guys for tuning in. That is what I got on the Caspian. So uh, thank you for tuning in, and I will see you next time.